So let's look at making angle bisectors of a triangle. So I'm going to start with an acute triangle. And it really could be any type here, but acute is our most common. So I need to find angle bisectors. So I need to find a line that's going to cut an angle in half and give me two equal parts. So it's not necessarily a midpoint like we did for the other perpendicular bisectors and a mid-segment. This one I need to cut the angle in half. So I'm going to match up the sides. So let's think I'm talking about this angle here. I need to fold it so the two sides match up. And I want them to match up exactly. And as I do that, I'm going to notice in order for them to match up exactly, which it looks like we're pretty close there, the vertex of that angle also happens to be on the fold, which we have down here. So that is our angle bisector. And of course it has to go through the vertex, because if it's bisecting the angle, it should be bisecting the vertex. So now I'm saying that this angle has two measurements that are the same if I measure them with a protractor. So let's take this angle now. So I'm going to fold it over so the two sides match. Make a crease. Should go through the vertex. That was a little better this time. So there's my other second angle bisector. And now I have this angle left. I'm going to fold them so the two sides match up. I'm not worried about the other parts there. I'm just focused on matching those two sides up. And again, if those two sides match up, then you're guaranteed that the vertex will be on the fold. That's the only way they could line up. And we get our third one. And all three of these meet at a point. That point of concurrency we call the in center. So the three angle bisectors meet at the in center. Now we we actually can look at a relationship that exists here because this point is the same distance to all of the sides. Now when we talk about distance, we talk about a perpendicular distance. So I'm going to think about matching these up here. And if I could find a way, the shortest distance Get a different compass. The shortest distance between the side and the point will be its perpendicular distance. So I could go here, to here, to here, and these would all be the same, and it would actually give me a circle that's inside where it's the end points of the circle hit on the side. And that would be actually the largest circle you could fit inside a triangle.